All right, we made it down here again. <laughs> same old thing. Uh, back at the same beach again, because the tide's gonna be lower today. And I figure I could just wait till the maximum low tide and maybe we'll find something. And the sand does move every day. Even if it doesn't look like it, it's moving, it is. Tide comes up, it moves the sand and uncovers new targets. It just does. Or it buries them. <laughs> uh, I'm just curious to see how many detectors are down here. Let's see, one, two, <laughs> he waved at me already. He saw me coming down as quick as I saw him. And the trail got better down there. Somebody st stuck a bunch of bamboos in the ground, so. Let's get down there and see what we get. Uh. <laughs> oh, jeez, there goes my shoes, dang it. Uh. They get flooded with sand going down that. I need new shoes. All right, let's turn it on. That guy's probably gonna come right down to me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Unless it's Alex. I don't think so though. I forgot about Alex. Alright, see if we get anything. It does look different, but I guess yesterday Jordan was down here, he gave me a report. When he was leaving, there was like 10 guys down here. So. So that guy's coming this way. I'll go that way. Throw him off, and then I'll reverse it. I like today, so. What I'm gonna do is actually go in the water a little bit. It's a whole nut. There's usually a dip right out there. And if there's no dip, I can just hunt out there. I'm not afraid to go in the water. All right, let's do this. All right, we got our first sound. 22. Kind of sounds deep. So I forgot my dig bag today. Hopefully we just hit premium targets. <laughs> it goes, I have my bathing suit on and it's just a little pocket. Here we go, this is our first one. Let's see if it's a weedy. A wheat penny. I think it is. No, it's not. It's a little building there. Anyways, let's get back to it. All right, I got a target. It is in the water. But it's just a little target. Uh, I see green. Green could mean gold, but not likely. It's just a green something. Could be part of a key or something. I don't know. Usually that's what the broken key looks like. Anyways, back at it. All right, we got another coin. I'm pretty sure. 13, so that's usually a nickel. Well, actually it says 14, huh? Let's see what it is. Ah, oh, I think it's a pull tab. No. We're getting trash today? Oh. Taping? Really hard to tape like this. Oh, there he is. I don't know if you guys can see him. He's just cruising really slow. 
probably looking for some easy food or something. Anyways, he's not showing enough, so I'm not taping it. It's a 10. In the worst spot. That's a shell. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's trash. Oh, I'm still zoomed in. Sorry about that. I'm trying to tape those dolphins. It's a beaver toe. Off a, you know, pull tab. Anyways, back to it. Yes, I'd guess a penny. Green copper. There it is. Ah, uh, it's not the wheat back. Let's keep going. My buddy Jordan's down here. That other guy's, uh, we call him Slim Pickens. And it reminded me. my other friends who was really sick and we haven't seen him in a while. Anyways, I hope he's okay. Romy, that's his name, Romy. I couldn't think of his name for some reason. Romy, he like had a bone marrow transplant. Something's really serious, like he could live or die. And he was like putting stuff on Facebook and I was looking at it and then boom, I stopped hearing from him well, like, well, during the, the process. And he was like, seriously, I could die from this. And I, if anybody knows what happened to him, let me know in the comments. Kind of worried. All right, back to digging. There we go. Jordan, of course, gets a silver chain. It doesn't even look like it's broken. Oh, it's broken? Yeah. That's cool. It's not that bad of shape, really. Alright. I'm not finding anything. I took a walk away from everybody. And it just got worse. So I decided to look for some good driftwood. I think I see a piece that I want. Can't tell. Yeah, this might be a good piece. Fit in the backpack and everything. Looks like that piece I called. I called it a notch. <laughs> I don't know why. Look at that though. 
that's really a little one. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah, we're taking this one. A little, uh, just a nice little piece. And there's a stick on it. <laughs> so we'll take this one. Uh, I want to take this one too. Let's see how it feels. Oh, yeah, it feels good. I like them when they're heavy. That one crunched. Um, so we got this one. Yeah, I guess that's it for now. I'll just put this in my backpack and we'll just keep going. I'm walking back towards the car right now. Today's episode might be short. Um, really beautiful down here, finally. Uh, it's if, It hasn't been uh, sunny and today the sun is kind of out. But the wind is blowing enough to get in the microphone, I forgot about that. All right, uh, I'll get back to you if I do it. If I find any more of this, or if I find a coin, because there's coins up here too. All right, we're out of here. <laughs> we got a signal right here. Somebody had dumped some sand, like a tractor or something, over the cut here. I thought I'd check the pile. pile of sand that wasn't there somebody had dumped it over the cut like a tractor or something here further back look this is right where i came down right there and uh that's where we're gonna go up so jordan found a silver but he only got like three targets I think. he's been digging like crazy i should just go over there Go past him. Maybe I'll do that. Slim Pickens over there. I don't know. I'll still post this video. Jordan got silver, so. Last ditch effort. I'm gonna run down that way and try one time since it is low tide right now. I just want to beat the traffic home. It took an hour to get here longer actually. Probably take that much to get home. Hey, see the tire marks? That's from a tractor. And see the walkway? They cleared all the sand off of there. And what they do with it? They pushed it over the edge. Remember, I said they pushed it. Somebody pushed some sand down here. That's what it's from. <laughs> so there could, I should have searched it better. <laughs> there actually could have been something. All right, I'm trying to beat the traffic, so I gotta get out of here. All right, we're at home now. Um, so we got some pull tabs, uh, vape, some of the stuff I didn't get on camera when I was down there. Just not much down there. Um, but this was ended up being a piece of a key. Then we got four pennies, oldest being 1959, I think. Yeah, um, so there wasn't much down there, so I just left a little early. Uh, we did get a little nice piece of a nice little piece of driftwood right here. Look at this. I, I think I got it on camera pretty good. But look at this. It's got like a little tunnel in it. And a really nice little piece. And there's an open spot right there. So I figured I'd just put it there for now. Until I can find something else to do with it. And then the, uh, like a bird could come in and land right there. And then jump down there. Get some water. And we have fish in our pond now. And we have some plants. So, oh, we also got two polywogs, 
They're probably going to turn into bullfrogs. Yeah. One of these times I'll catch them on camera and show you guys. But actually, I should. If you keep watching, you'll see where I got the fish. And my friend brought them to me and we put them in there. Um, as far as plants go, I still haven't planted my zucchini. The milkweed. Not doing much yet. It takes a little time for that, though. Strawberries are doing good. They always do good. Got new strawberries coming in right there. See them? They're all over the place. Other new ones right there. New ones right there. And looks like a whole bunch of them right there coming in. I don't know. Right there. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That one looks deformed. All right, and then we got some there even. So a lot of strawberries coming in. There's even one there you can kind of see. Uh, I did put some tomato uh, cages on these uh, peppers because I was watching a video and they seem to do really good with those. Uh, so hopefully that'll work out. Our tomatoes almost reaching the trellis that I put up. You can see right there. So it is growing. Because <laughs> someone goes, are these things growing? I guess they are. Because it was not that close to the trellis before. And now it is. And our potatoes. I got a feeling I'm going to like growing these. Because look at those. Just... Every video, they're getting bigger, bigger, bigger. Just, they grow faster than weeds. Anything else? I got, I got a big peach at a yard sale from Mexico. Two dollars. <laughs> Just more junk for the yard. And, oh yeah. Maybe we should do this. I only think it's been a week, though. Remember I put a piece of squash in here and I go, let's see what the worms do to it after a couple weeks. Oh, I put grass in there too. Hey, look, something's growing. Is that an onion? Probably. Maybe I should throw that in the garden. Let it grow. Uh, this is kind of gross. Here. I got a scoop here. It's full of water. What the heck? <laughs> wow, it really is full of water. I didn't think it could hold that much. Uh, yeah, let's let's dig down and see if the worms are doing anything. Oh, there's a squash. I don't think they're going to be doing anything yet. Because we have a lot of worms in here. Yeah, it hasn't done much yet. Oh, yeah, it's kind of getting there. Let's pop it up and see. Well, you know what? Let's pop this onion out and see, too. Hopefully, I got down deep enough on the onion. Onions aren't even good to have in here, really. Oh, yeah, I probably should grow that. I'm, I think I'm going to grow that. Unless that's a green onion. All right, let's see if the worms are doing anything to this thing. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Well. I don't see any worms anyways. Anyways. Well, we broke it up in it. Is there worms? No, no worms. Oh my goodness. Get back down there, you stinky little thing. Ugh. There's something else growing. Should I stick it in the garden? I think. I don't know what that is. Oh, that might be an avocado. But it looks like a carrot. Can carrots grow again? I don't know. Ugh. There's a big worm. Look at that worm. 
He's a big guy. Is he alive? That'd be some good fishing bait there. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, there's another worm there. So the worms are over there right now. I'll let them go back to whatever they're doing. I'm going to go ahead and plant these in the garden. Just see what they do. I think you could break this apart and get several plants out of it. I think that's just a green onion. I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? Plant it? I'll plant it. Let's see. Well, uh, okay. I don't want to plant these in there. I'm not going to. We've got enough plants in there. If it grows, it grows, whatever. I think the other one, the other one is just carrots. All right, that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and throw some more dirt on here. Uh, seems to decompose better when I put uh, dirt on there. All right, that's it for this video. <laughs> that, that didn't go as planned. I was hoping there'd be a bunch of worms, you know, attacking it. And I'm gonna try to get back down to the beach. I didn't go down yesterday because it was my birthday. And well, I kind of just took it easy on my birthday. So I just saw a fish I was gonna show you guys. Dang it. Where is he? Anyways, it's gonna be hard to spot fish in there. And well, thanks for watching. Uh, you know, get out in the world and do something. It's beautiful out there. Even, no matter what state you're in or country, uh, there's always something. I love getting out in there in the world. I happen to live in California by the beach, kind of by the beach. So that's what I like to do. I also like going to the mountains. I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah, and also, the reason I posted this video is because Jordan did find silver down there. He found it on his third target, and uh, so there was treasure found. I don't like posting videos if I don't find anything, but you know what? That's kind of the real, the reality of it, so there you go. <laughs> there was treasure found. Maybe I'll put it in the title. <laughs> All right, um... We got, my friend brought me some. Wait, they're supposed to be two polywogs. Two polywogs and some fish. What are they called? Patties. Patties. All right, just dump it in like this. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> You're not going to be able to see them in there, but. They left well, they're going to hide for a while, but tomorrow they'll be swimming around. They got some plants. Mm, some plants, too. Dude, this stuff grows like crazy. Like weeds? <laughs> yeah. I literally have to scoop it out every day. Oh, look, they're already swimming around. Oh, cool. And then the, the little floaty ones. Hey, this is for, th those are like uh, four-leaf clovers. Yeah, there's two, well, they're, <laughs> I used to have it's duck St. weed. Patrick's Day. Are you wearing green? Yeah, I am. Yeah. Not because of St. Patrick's Day, but I didn't realize it. <laughs> but yeah, this stuff will fill your pond up in a couple days. Seriously. Cool. I think it needs it because there's a lot of uh, soil amendments and stuff that are mm -hmm. in those pots that go in there. Plus so the it's like, wood will leach. It'll, uh, yeah, yeah, you know. Anyways, that's a garden update. Uh, also, we got this stuff going here still. More potatoes are coming up. You guys are just seeing that, so I'm not going to show it again. What's that? Then, Is that uh, a vegetable? With a red flower? It's a flower. No. It's not a vegetable or anything? No.